How changing your thoughts can literally reshape your brain. What if your thoughts weren't just invisible whispers in your mind, but sculptors? What if every belief you held, every emotion you repeated, was quietly reshaping the physical structure of your brain? This isn't a metaphor, it's science. The brain is not fixed. It's constantly rewiring itself in response to how you think, feel, and behave. The name for this remarkable ability is neuroplasticity, and it means that your inner world is building your outer reality more literally than you've ever imagined. In this video, we'll break down how your daily thoughts shape neural connections, how mindset influences mental health and performance, and how to deliberately rewire your brain for clarity, strength, and resilience. One, what is neuroplasticity? Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change itself. Unlike the old belief that the brain stops growing after childhood, we now know the brain adapts continuously throughout life. Every time you learn something new, repeat a behavior, or even change a thought pattern, neurons fire and wire together, forming new circuits or weakening old ones. This means your mind isn't a fixed program, it's a living code base, and your thoughts are the programmers. Think of it this way, your repeated mental habits carve grooves in your brain like water etching lines in stone. The more often you think a thought, positive or negative, the deeper that groove becomes. 2. Thoughts are electrical events with physical impact. Every thought you have generates an electrical impulse. That impulse travels along neurons and triggers chemical releases like dopamine, cortisol, or serotonin. When a thought is repeated, the neural pathway it follows becomes more efficient. The brain begins to prefer that path, using it by default. This is why you can develop mental habits, whether empowering or destructive. Imagine constantly thinking, I'm not good enough. Each repetition strengthens a pathway that becomes easier to activate and harder to ignore. Over time, your brain not only expects that thought, it filters reality to support it. But the good news? The same mechanism works in reverse. You can interrupt and rebuild those pathways by deliberately choosing new thoughts and reinforcing them through practice. Three the default mode network and self-talk. Your brain at rest is never really resting. In fact, it switches into what scientists call the default mode network, DMN, a collection of regions that become active when your mind is wandering, daydreaming, or reflecting on yourself. And here's the catch. The DMN is strongly influenced by your habitual self-talk. If your automatic thoughts are critical, fearful, or judgmental, your DMN becomes a negative loop that operates beneath your awareness, coloring your moods, decisions, and even memory. But when you intentionally change your internal narrative, you begin rewiring the DMN itself. Positive affirmations aren't cheesy. They're neural interruptions. They teach your brain that it's safe to believe something new. Four, emotional habits reshape brain chemistry. Emotions are not just feelings, they're biochemical states. Every time you feel anger, sadness, or fear, your body releases corresponding hormones and neurotransmitters. These chemical responses become part of your brain's memory. If you experience chronic stress or worry, your brain builds a tolerance for those chemicals, making it more likely to seek out situations that trigger them again. This is why people can get addicted to stress or drama without realizing it. But with mindfulness, breath work, gratitude, and cognitive restructuring, you can train your brain to prefer calm and focus. Over time, your chemical baseline changes. Your emotional set point rises. Five, how trauma and thought patterns get embedded. Trauma isn't just emotional, it's neurological. Traumatic memories often bypass the logical brain and embed themselves in the amygdala and hippocampus, regions responsible for threat detection and memory. If you replay trauma repeatedly in your thoughts, the pathways involved get stronger. The brain begins reacting to past threats as if they're current creating cycles of anxiety, hypervigilance, and emotional shutdown. But neuroplasticity gives hope. Therapies like EMDR, CBT, and mindfulness-based stress reduction help retrain the brain to process trauma differently, weakening old links and creating new, more stable networks of safety and trust. Changing your thoughts in this context is not just psychological healing, it's biological rewiring. Six, repetition and focus. The tools of restructuring. Two ingredients reshape the brain more than any others. 
repetition, and focused attention. When you repeatedly think something with awareness and emotional engagement, it burns into the brain faster. This is why affirmations often fail. They're repeated without emotion. But when tied to visualization, breath, or real-world action, they gain power. Neurons don't just fire together, they wire with intensity. So to rewire your thinking, focus fully on the new belief. Tie it to a strong emotion or goal. Repeat it daily with conviction. The brain rewires through experiential learning, not just ideas. If you want confidence, don't just say it. Act confidently, even in micro moments. Your brain will catch up. 7. Attention is neuroplastic fuel. Whatever you pay attention to, your brain starts valuing. If you constantly scan for threats, your brain strengthens those circuits. If you focus on gratitude, your neural network for appreciation grows. This is called experience-dependent plasticity, and it means attention isn't just mental, it's creative. Your attention is the chisel that sculpts your neural structure. So the question is, what are you rehearsing daily? What thoughts dominate your focus? Because your attention today is building the architecture of your mind tomorrow. Deliberate focus, especially through mindfulness or meditation, has been shown to increase gray matter, reduce stress circuits, and enhance emotional regulation. 8. Environment and input reshape neural identity. Your thoughts don't live in a vacuum. They're constantly influenced by your environment. The people you talk to, the media you consume, the narratives you hear, your brain responds to every input. If your social feed is filled with comparison, outrage, or superficiality, your brain starts wiring around those values. But if you curate your environment, reading, listening, and engaging with empowering content, your brain begins to prefer clarity, depth, and peace. You are, in a very real sense, the average of your mental inputs. Changing your physical and digital environment can accelerate the rewiring process, sometimes faster than internal willpower alone. 9. Belief is a biological driver. Belief is an abstract. It triggers real physical effects. Studies show that placebos, fake treatments, can produce healing effects simply because patients believe they're real. Belief can lower pain, reduce symptoms, and even initiate biochemical changes in the immune system. The brain responds to belief as if it's truth. This means that upgrading your belief system isn't just motivational, it's medicinal. When you begin to believe in possibility, growth, and resilience, your brain starts behaving as if those things are already happening strengthening the pathways that support them. 10. Daily thought, hygiene, rewiring on purpose. You brush your teeth every day, but how often do you clean up your thoughts? The brain doesn't just need positive thinking, it needs conscious thinking. Here's a simple daily mental hygiene routine to help rewire your brain over time. Morning reset. Start with 60 seconds of intentional thought. What do I want to feel, believe, or create today? Interrupt negativity. Use pattern-breaking techniques, breath, movement, reframing, when you notice destructive loops. Gratitude audit. Every night, write three specific things you appreciated that day. This builds lasting emotional resilience. Silence sessions. Even five minutes of focused silence strengthens attention and reduces mental noise. Over weeks and months, these practices physically remodel your neural architecture anchoring you in a brain that supports who you want to become. Your brain is not a machine, it's a garden. Every thought is a seed. Every focus is sunlight. Every belief is water or drought. If you feed it fear, it will grow caution and reactivity. But if you feed it courage, clarity, and love, it will bloom with possibility. Changing your thoughts is not just thinking positive. It's the most direct way to reshape your mental reality at a biological level. The power has always been in your mind. Now you know, it's also in your hands. If this video opened a new perspective for you, let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the science of thought, growth, and mental transformation. You're not stuck. Your brain is just waiting for new instructions.